Hey guys, this is Tornado. Today we're here to talk about some new rumors. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to say these are from a fairly reliable source. They're from the source that gave us the Secret Avengers plus Falcon, uh, sorry, plus Fury plus uh, Winter Soldier, uh, becoming the requirements for Omega Red and stuff. They've given us a little bit of tidbits in the past as well. So I do kind of trust them a bit more than some of the random sources that we've had. Uh, so I thought that I would kind of go ahead and share these ones with you. I made it poll just on my discord just to double check if you guys still want to hear them and yeah the resounding answer was yes so we're going to get into that um characters for next patch uh coming at you but before we've got that we've got a quick advertisement first Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Dragon Champions. If you love the look of classic RPGs like Warcraft and enjoy squad fighter games like Star Wars Galaxy Heroes or Marvel Strike Force, this game is for you. The developers have poured their heart out to create a fantastic game with an interesting, engaging story, energetic and fun dialogue, and easter eggs and references to all your favorite fantasy worlds. And best of all, they communicate with their community. With more than 60 heroes from the wild tribal orcs to the calm zen pandas, there's a faction that everyone can enjoy in the united fight against evil. The game is completely free to play and you can do everything without spending, but if you do want to spend, there are some amazing deals with some great value. My favorite thing is just the variety of balanced content available. You've got the expeditions where you can send your troops out to get resources back for you to be able to use. The tower that you can climb and challenge your roster. And even the tournaments where you're going to compete against people on your level for character shards. Now, the great thing is that developers are currently giving you an awesome starter pack if you are below level 15. Head on down to the settings and use the promo code TORNA. And that's going to get you 250,000 gold, 500 Draco coins, 500 energy, and a whole new hero, Corcoran. Not only that, but it supports my channel. So what are you waiting for? Head on down to the description and click the links to download the game and start kicking some ass. Good luck and see you there. All right, and we're back. Now, I'm pretty sure that these guys are going to tie into Supernatural. However, the rumors for the next patch are Morgan Le Fay. I keep going to say Le Fay for some reason. Morgan Le Fay coming to us into the game, which is very, very interesting. Um... She's a character that's very tied into the mystical kind of components of uh, Marvel uh, in the Marvel Universe. She's the one who I believe tamed, uh, taught Doctor Doom. Yeah, she taught him magic to Doctor Doom, uh, which was very, very interesting. Um, she's also most recently been a villain within the Excalibur comics. Massive villain within the Excalibur comics. The Excalibur was going up against her... Um, she was basically wanting to rule the uh, the other world and become the primary ruler there and everything. She's tied into the whole um, Merlin, the um, to Merlin, to uh, King Arthur, and all that kind of mystical stuff uh, to do with like Excalibur and stuff, which is really cool. Um, which definitely means like pointing towards Excalibur as well, in my opinion. But I mean, that's kind of me hoping as well. Uh, but Morgan Le Fay potentially coming next patch. She's also was the villain within the Runaways TV show. And I believe she was a part of the crossover um, with Runaways and um, Runaways and Cloak and Dagger potentially. Um, but she was at least the one of the major villains within that and wanting to use the use the whole dark hold and everything which is pretty cool um i find it really cool to kind of see her joining the game as a character that i definitely didn't expect to join the game however this kind of leaves us in a, a weird position we've got potentially uh next patch we're going to be coming with morbius 99 percent sure that that's morbius and then about 95 percent sure that the other character is uh dr voodoo which means we've now got like seven-ish supernatural characters when you combine it with these guys, Morgan making that eight. So I kind of had a look into it and I'm like, what could this potentially mean? And I know a few people have kind of been suggesting it. I think Tony had it in his predictions for 2022. Um, it's something that I talk about when we're talking about Midnight Suns, splitting the supernatural team into two teams. So supernatural becomes this like overarching tag, similar to like, I guess the Avengers tag or the Spider-Verse tag and stuff like that. And then split it into two teams where you've got the Sorcerers and then the Midnight Suns. Now there's a few characters here that could potentially change. Like for example, Voodoo could be over here on the Midnight Suns. And then you've got like Agatha or something on the Sorcerers. 
He's got Scarlet Witch, who could potentially not be on any of the teams and replace with Agatha. This here, you can tell by his evil eyebrows. This is the S Doctor Strange Supreme over here um, with the Sorcerers because we know that he's coming to the game. So there's potential that he's not on any of these teams and he's going to be with like a multiverse... Uh, a Guardians of the Multiverse squad, and then bring in someone else here. Now, I'm pretty sure that what's going to happen is next patch, they're obviously bringing out a war defense team with Echo and potentially, most likely, 95% sure, Kate Bishop joining the Young Avengers, and then the Young Avengers are this war defense squad. And one of the major, major, major complaints with Heroes for Hire when they were released was... There is no counter to these guys. We've got to use Infinity Watch, and even then it's risky sometimes. And then, obviously, they brought out Weapon X, a patch later, and people were a lot happier then. So, most likely what my thinking here is that they're going to bring out new Supernatural characters next patch. However, they're going to be a war offense team to be able to counter this current war defense team um, that's going to be coming out. Now, the Sorcerer team here... Most likely they don't call it Sorcerers because that would be weird. However, Avengers of the Supernatural, I could definitely see being the kind of name there. Um, Midnight Suns, I do think is going to be a name for either of the teams. Werewolf by Night, you can see him here. He's been data mined previously to be added into the game. Morbius and Doctor Voodoo within that kind of thing. They confirmed that Doctor Strange Supreme is coming and then the rumours for Morgan Le Fay coming at the moment. Now, the other rumours to go alongside this were that next patch, alongside Morgan, uh, Morgana, however you want to pronounce it, uh, well, she's Morgan and Morgana, she goes by both, um, is two of the horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, now, which two, I'm not sure. My thinking is that most likely Angel and Gambit um, to kind of come alongside and make the Excalibur team, and then they end up moving off of that team into um, a different team, but there's potential that it could be any horseman. It could not be Gambit and Rogue. It could be uh, Gambit and Angel. It could be like... Uh, any of the other horsemen of the death that they've had, they've had so many different horsemen of death. That's probably the one that's like been most used. You've got famine, obviously. You've got a fair, fair few different characters that have been famine. You've got war as well. War is the one that typically doesn't even need to be a mutant. You've got like Bruce Banner in here. You've got Deathbird in here as well. Um, and then finally, Pestilence. You've got some characters in the game that have been Pestilence. For example, Polaris, but you've also got like Caliban in here as well. So who knows which ones they end up using. There's a lot of different characters that could be these horsemen. Uh, I don't want to kind of speculate too much because I don't want to get my hopes up again. But as I said, hearing from Next Patch, Morgan Le Fay and two horsemen. And then the final thing was... Um, Potentially, they're going to switch it so that instead of being almost a year between new levels and new gear, it's going to be more in line with like nine months, which would hit us around about June of this year to get a new kind of level increase and a new gear level as well. Potentially a new Dark Dimension or whatever they end up changing Dark Dimension to, Quantum Realm or um, something else if they don't want to use it because, hey, Dormammu's kind of been defeated, Dormammu's no longer a problem... We've got, um, we've got the pocket dimensions and stuff coming now. Maybe they kind of spin it off into something else. Like, um, like it could be anything really. Like it could be us going into the McCran crystal and then kind of taking out Ultimus again from there. Or there's lots of cool things that it could potentially be. The cool thing about this is that there's a lot of stuff they can do with the storyline at the moment to kind of deal with this kind of stuff. Um, so I'm hoping we kind of start seeing some more story coming in. Obviously, the Spider-Punk story, most likely, it was pretty funny and stuff like that, but it didn't really progress the story of Marvel Strike Force. While these teams here, a one to do with like a supernatural and stuff like that, a massive thing at the moment in Marvel Strike Force that we was that we locked um we locked away uh, Ultimus in the McCran crystal. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I apologize. We locked him away and he's inside this crystal and the dimension, it's like kind of like a dimension kind of thing because it's bordering alongside um, another dimension that we visited during the Kestrel campaign. And during that Kestrel campaign, we went there, we kind of liberated the forces and defeated the forces of Ultimus that were there to stop them from releasing Ultimus. And then 
as we're leaving, Beast is like, hey guys, yeah, that's fine, you defeated them, but you've left us at the mercy of survival of the fittest. It's kind of hinting at like an Age of Apocalypse kind of universe bordering on the McCran Crystal there, which I think is really cool because the McCran Crystal was actually uh, used in the comics to create the Age of Apocalypse universe because it was used to... Um, stabilized the universe after legion came back tried to kill magneto but ended up killing xavier instead so it's really cool that they're kind of doing this and i really hope that they start progressing the storyline more because i do think that there's a decent storyline in marvel strike force that i wish that they would utilize more it's not kind of like star wars galaxy heroes where the storyline is essentially you're this person that's controlling little figures i believe that's basically the storyline i'm of it you're basically playing a game within a game while in marvel strike force you're the commander you're the one con controlling these forces and with the in-depth massively great kind of storyline around marvel i really hope that they start using it more but yeah that's it guys i'd love to hear from you guys what you think morgan are you a person who's been looking forward to morgan coming to the game i think that's probably a character that i've never heard anyone ask for to come to the game but now that they kind of said it i'm like yeah, no, that would actually be really cool. I could really see that. Um, obviously, I've never actually seen the Runaway show. I've got to watch that. We've still got to finish uh, Cloak and Dagger Season 2 as well. Uh, we've got, obviously, Excalibur being linked into them as well. And then, obviously, these guys here being characters that we've potentially seen, had rumors for, have confirmed coming to the game, or have Dynamite. So, I'm really excited. Let me know what you guys think. That's it for today. Have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>